and Senate candidate Congressman Ted Budd, he continues to expose the radicalism of far-left Democratic opponent uh, Cherry Beasley. The latest Real Clear Politics numbers have Budd with a 4.5 percentage point lead. Here with the latest on the state of the race, uh, Republican Senate candidate in North Carolina, Ted Budd, and he brought, brought along his fellow Carolinian, <laughs> although South Carolina, uh, Lindsey Graham is with you. Yeah. Uh, welcome, both of you. Uh, Ted, you've been able to build up a lead. It's gone from one point to two points, now four and a half points. What is happening in North Carolina that is bringing you more support almost on a weekly basis? Sean, again, thanks for having us. We're all Carolinians today, but I would say this is about inflation, about crime, and about education. We're talking about the things that the voters want to get better in their lives. And everything that Democrats are doing is making life worse. Everything that I'm doing is about making life better for not just us here in North Carolina or South Carolina, but us in this, in this whole country. And Sherry Beasley is running away from her record. She's defended cop killers. She's thrown out indictments for sex offenders. She's against GPS tracking for child molesters. The more we dig into her record, the worse it gets. And they know that I'm for fixing inflation. I'm for making crime less, not worse. And I'm for giving parents a say in their education. The more we talk about that, the more we win. But we can't let up in the next 11 days. That's why I hope everybody goes to tedbud.com and figures out that we don't have the tech billionaires on our side like she does, but we do have you and your viewers on our side. And so we need help. Yeah. You know, Lindsay, it used to be Democrats would hide their radicalism, try and run as moderates. They're not hiding it anymore. I mean, you know, the, the issues come down to radical policies on energy, wide open borders, uh, right. defund, dismantle, right. no bail laws. It comes down to woke education versus traditional curriculum in schools. And they're saying it openly and no restrictions at all on abortion. They all seem to be, you right. know, out radicaling each other, thinking that's going to what resonate with the American people, especially in light of two years of Biden. Well, they got a, they're in a bind here. If, if they don't say the things you're talking about, nobody gives them money. Uh, just listen to what Ted said about Ms. Beasley. She ran statewide and only lost by 400 votes. Trump won North Carolina by less than one percentage points. So Ted's run one of the best races in the country. But don't let these polls fool you. These people surge at the right time. So if they say no to D.C. statehood, say no to changing the filibuster, try to secure the border, They'll lose all the uh, money. So she raised $13 million in the last quarter. Ted raised four. From October the 1st wow. to October the 19th, the last reporting period, she raised five. Ted raised one and a half. Your audience has been incredibly generous. TedBud.com, 11 days left. Everything he said needs to be in a commercial. I don't know where all this money comes from, Sean. Your, oh, wait, your I was just going to ask you. Pray, what, it, this, this is, Lindsay, this I, is I every know. single state. Uh, every race, gubernatorial yes. race, senatorial yes. race, where are they yeah. getting these tens of millions of dollars from? Has anybody uh, looked into it? Uh, well, I sure will. I just don't believe this is legit on the up and up, but I do know this, that the money is real. 13 to 4, he's being outraised 4 to 1. He's got the best story, really, of anybody running about being a reliable conservative. There's a headwind for Democrats, but the next 11 days, tedbud.com, if he can get the money he needs, and you have sent money, like you helped Herschel like three nights ago, you have no idea what your audience did for Herschel. All these people are being pounded, so let's close with a flourish. Every liberal in America is trying to take over Georgia and North Carolina and Florida. I live near all these folks. We need conservatives like the people listening to help J.D. Please help J.D. But this guy has run the best race maybe in the entire country, he's leading in a state where it's hard to lead. TedBud.com. Pray, vote, and give. Well, absolutely. Right. We're going to stay hard. We're going to we're going to stay humble and work hard and go the next 11 days and win this. But we need your help at TedBud.com. And we just ask for people's prayers, support, and if they're in North Carolina, for their vote. Amen.